Hello guys, welcome back sa aking channel. Ako nga pala si Sir Mar Santa Maria, Master Teacher 1 of Governor Luis A. Ferrer Junior East National High School na magbibigay sa inyo ng mga math techniques para mapadali ang topic niyo sa mathematics. Today we are going to discuss about problems involving measures of position which is under mathematics 10, quarter number 4, week number 4. So since meron naman tayong uh, videos nyan uh, ng week number 1, 2, and 3, tingnan nyo nalang sa ating uh, description below para magkaroon kayo ng idea about sa measures of position. Kaya gagawin natin ngayon, proceed na tayo sa learning task number 1. Mrs. Marasigan is a veterinarian. A veterinarian is that, in short, a person who is qualified to treat sick or injured animals such as cats or dogs. Veterinario in Filipino, magagamot ang hayop na may karamdaman o sakit. The average salary for veterinarian in our country per year is 286,802, which is roughly nasa 23,000 per uh, month. So para sa akin, yung 23,000 ay masyado mababa para sa mga veterinarian natin na nag-aral ng 6 na taon yata sa medicine. So I think hindi, and no, hindi sapat yung 23,000 per month. So one morning, Vet Marasigan asked her secretary to record the service time she rendered for 15 customers. The following are the service times in minutes. 20, 35, 55, 28, 46, 32, 25, 56, 55, 28, 37, 60, 47, 52, and 17. So we are going to find the values of number 1, P sub 1, second, D sub 7, and third, P sub 30. Then afterwards, you need to interpret its measures of position. So ang gagawin natin dito, syempre, arrange natin in uh, ascending order. So we have 17, 20, 25, 28, 28, 32, 35, 37, 46, 47, 52, 55, 55, 56, and uh, 60. So una, doon sa Q sub 1, ang gagawin natin doon, nahanapin muna natin yung position of Q sub 1. So para makuha natin yung position of Q sub 1, we are going to use the formula 1 part of n plus 1. Kaya magiging uh, 1 part of 15 plus 1 na magiging equal kay 1 part of 16. So magiging equal kay uh, okay. so magiging uh, part. Okay, nasan yung part? Sakto naman, di ba? So hindi na natin kinakalang gumamit ng interpolation or the Mendenhall and uh, Sinching uh, method. So nasan yung pang-apat? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 28. Kaya magiging Q sub 1 natin dito is only equal to 28 okay, minutes. So paano ba natin ito i-interpret? So since sa Q sub 1 tayo, ang ibig sabihin nun, 25%. Kaya ang interpretation natin dito ay 25% of the customers have less than or equal to 28 minutes of service time. Next, proceed tayo ngayon kay D sub 7. Una, hanapin muna natin yung position of D sub 7 using the formula 7 times of N plus 1. Kaya magiging 7 times of 15 plus 1 na magiging equal kay 16. Okay, so pag minultiply mo ngayon ang 7 and 16, pwede mo naman gamitan ng 7 times 10 magiging 70, 7 times 6 magiging 42, plus 70, meron ka lang, uh, meron ka uh, 112 uh, divided by 10, kaya magiging 11.2 position. So pag ginamitan natin ngayon ng Mendenhall and uh, Sinchik Method, Sinchik Method, ang gagawin natin dito, 11.2, since D sub 7 is greater than uh, 58 percentile, kasi ang D sub 7 ay 78 uh, percentile, Itong 11.2 na to, ang gagawin natin dito, i-round down natin, kaya magiging 11. So, binilang natin dito, nagyan na natin ang number para madaling uh, tingnan. Kaya ang 11 uh, position natin dito is equal to 52. So, D sub 7 equals 52. So, to interpret, yung sabihan ng D sub 7, 78 uh, percent, kaya magiging 70 percent of the customers have less than or equal to 52 minutes of service time. Yung third natin, so we are going to look for P sub 30. But before that, hanapin muna natin ang position of P sub 30 or the 30th percentile. So ang formula natin dito is 3 over 10 of N plus 1. Now, kasan yung N plus 1 natin kanina? Magiging 16 kasi 15 plus 1. Kaya magiging 3 times of okay, 16. So 3 times 16, makukuha mo lang ang 48. Okay, so divided by 10, kaya magiging equal kay 4.8. So since ang, this, ang, ang P sub 30 natin ay less than uh, 50 at a percentile, 
So ang gagawin natin dito kay 4.8 ay kaya round up natin. So pag ni-round up natin ang 4.8, magiging equal lamang kay okay, fifth uh, position. So nasaan yun? 28 kaya magiging P sub 30 is also equal to uh, 28. So to interpret, we have 30, uh, 30% kasi P sub 30. 30% of the customers have less than or equal to 28 minutes of the service time. Let's proceed with learning task number 2. Grade 10 students are required to take the National Career Assessment Examination or NCAE. Ang alam ko grade 9, hindi grade 10. It helps students to identify which strands they should take in uh, senior high school and courses in college. Ibig sabihin, kung gusto mo ng um, STEM, dapat mataas yung uh, mathematics mo. The students in the following Okay. The students in the moving up class 10 Hera of San Jose National High School obtained the following scores in the NCAE. Okay, so nasa table yon. Pero kung titignan ko, masyado naman yata ang mababa. Kasi meron nga nakakuha ng 99, 98, diba? 97. So masyado naman yata ang pinababa yung given natin dito. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dito, find the third quartile, 62nd percentile, the eighth decile of the, the set of data, and we are going to interpret its measure of position. In order to calculate the positions of loop data, kinakalangan magdagdag tayo dito ng less than cumulative frequency. Na kung saan, i-add mo lang yung frequency starting from the lowest class interval. Kung pataas, kaya meron kang 13, plus uh, 11, we have a 24, plus 7, 31, plus 5, 36, and then plus 4, we have a 40. So, yung n natin dito magiging equal kay 40. Yung class size naman natin dito, 35 minus 30 magiging uh, 5. Okay? Para magawa natin ng Q sub 3, kunin muna natin ngayon ang position of uh, Q sub 3 in order to get the Q sub 3 class. Ang position ngayon ng Q sub 3 ay makuha natin by using the formula 3n over 4. Kung saan group data, meron ko pang n plus 1, dito wala na. So, magiging a 3 fourths of ang n natin dito ay 40 na. Pakadali na lang to, Kasi 40 diba by 4 magiging 10 times 3, magiging equal kay, okay, so the 30th uh, score. So, saan natin matatagpuan ngayon ang Q sub 3 class? So, dito mo ngayon matatagpuan yun kasi itong 31 na ito, ibig sabihan, from 35th to 31st. Kaya, eto yung natawag natin Q sub 3 okay, class. So, dito natin ngayon na-identify yung mga different uh, values ng, uh, sa formulas na gagamitin natin. So, yung formula natin ay Q sub 3 is equal to LB plus na quality of 3 and over 4 minus C of sub B o kaya cumulative frequency before the P sub 3 class all over the frequency of the P sub 3 times I identify muna natin yung LB so since ito ngayon ang P sub 3 class itong uh, 36 na to ima minus mula na 0.5 kaya magiging equal lamang kay 35 okay 0.5 ito naman C of sub B since ito yung 31 yung nasa baba nun kaya before so we have uh, 24 ito naman yung frequency mismo so magiging equal kay 7 syempre yung I natin ay uh, 5. Then, i-substitute natin dito sa pinaka-formula. So, we have 35.5 plus the quantity of, eto, nakuha natin as 30. So, we have a 30 minus uh, 24. Then, ang frequency natin ay 7 multiply by 5. Okay. So, isa yun natin. So, we have uh, 35.5 plus 30 minus uh, 24 magiging 6 times 5. We have uh, 30 divided by 7. So, pwede naman tayong gamit ng a calculator dito para makuha natin yung 30 divided by 7 i-add natin kay 35.5 so makukuha natin ngayon ang case of 3 is equal to 39.79 nakarounded na to so ito lang yung pinakabagyo ng case of 3 so ano naman ang ibig sabihin ito so paano natin i-interpret ngayon ang 39.79 so we can in interpret that 75% kasi case of 3 ibig sabihan equivalent kay 75th percentile so 75% of the students got less than or equal to 39.79 so next let us proceed with a piece of 2 unahin muna natin ang position of a piece of 62 or the 62nd uh, percentile so we have 62 and over 100 kaya magiging 62 times okay 40 divided by 100 the value nun ay 2480 then divided by 100 kaya magiging at 24 point uh, 80. Okay, so ito yung pagiging position. So, nasaan ngayon yun? Ito hanggang 24 lang to. So, ito ay 24.80. Ibig sabihin, nandito na kaya sa pinakakasunod. Kaya ito pa rin ang magiging P sub 62 
Okay, class. So, dito pa rin natin identify ngayon ang LB. So, ano gagawin doon? Minus kami dito, magiging uh, 35.5. Ang uh, last ng community frequency natin, inasa baba. So, we have uh, 64. Then, ang frequency of frequency of um, P sub 62 natin ay magiging equal kay 7. Okay? Then, eto ngayon ay ilalagay natin sa pinaka formula. So, eto yung formula natin. So, we have LB plus 2n over 100 minus C of sub B all over frequency of P sub 62 and then multiply by I. So, yung LB natin is 35.5. So, by substitution method, then eto ngayon, nakuha natin ng 24.80 o okay, kaya naman 24.8 na lang. Tapos, minus tayo ng 24. Then, all over, magiging equal kay 7. Tapos, yung I natin, ayun. So, yung I natin dito ay equal kay 5. Then, so, i-minus natin ngayon ang 24.8 by 24. So, mukha mo ay 0.8. Pag tinimes natin ng 5, magiging uh, 4.0 or 4. Then, saka na i-divide by 7. Tapos, i-add natin kay 35.5. So, the value is only 36.07. So, how do we interpret this uh, 36.07? So, our interpretation will be 62 percent dahil P sub 62. 60 second uh, percent dahil yun. 62 percent of the students got less than or equal to 36.07. So, number 3, kunin natin ngayon ang D sub 8. Hanapin muna natin ang position of D sub 8 using the formula 8n over 10. Ito, medyo madali. So, magiging 8 times 40 divided by 10. Kasi 40 divided by 10, magiging 4 times 8, meron ka lang 32. So, sa matatagpuan, nasa 30 second position. So, nasa ano yun? So, nandito tayo nakapalod kasi ito ay from 32 to 30, 30 second to 30 is 6. So, dito ngayon ang D sub 8 uh, may class. So, pag identify natin ang, ang lower boundary, ito ngayon, babawas mo na ng 0.5 kaya magiging 40.5. Okay, ito namang uh, last ng cumulative natin, yung nasa baba, so we have uh, 31. Yung frequency naman natin dito ay equal kay 5. Then, ang magiging formula natin dito for the D sub 8, magiging equal lamang kay LB plus uh, the quantity of uh, 8n over 10 minus D of sub B times the frequency of D sub 8 multiplied by I. So, ano ngayon ang value ng uh, LB? Substitute natin, so we have 40.5 plus the quantity of, eto nakuha natin is 32, okay, minus 31. Okay, so ang frequency natin dito ay equal kay 5. Tapos yung I natin dito ay equal kay 5. Medyo madali, ano? So, makakasa mo na kagad to. Tapos, 32 minus 31 magiging equal lamang kay 1. Inad mo dito, so meron kang 41.5 as D sub 8. So how do we interpret the value of 41.5? So our inter interpretation will be 80% dahil D sub 8 is 88 percentile. 80% of the students got less than or equal to 41.5. So thank you guys and tune in ka dahil ilalabas ko na rin yung learning task number 3A and 3B. So bye bye and God bless.